Although Suella Bravman has left the cabinet in disgrace, she was sacked. I, Rishi Sunak could easily have found a formula to suggest that she had resigned. And the fact that the uh, stories are now leaking that he had approached David Cameron about a week earlier suggests that he was already thinking of a grand cabinet reshuffle anyway. And Suella Bravman may well have fallen foul of that. But uh, I, I think... And Widdicombe suggests that this was already in the pipework. I don't think it was. I think Rishi Sunak was making a firm and uh, frank statement that he was angry with her and that uh, she was going to leave in disgrace. Well, despite that, despite the fact that she has gone, her poodle, uh, Robert Jenrick, remains. And Robert Jenrick yesterday went on record as quickly as he could, to say that no ifs, no buts, the, Re the Rwanda deportation plan must go ahead, whether the Supreme Court agree with it or not, and if necessary, Britain must leave the European Court of Human Rights. Well, as somebody who's gone through the European Court of Human Rights and found it quite useful, uh, I, I mean, not necessarily perfect, because the European Court of Human Rights, in our case, uh, demanded that Greece changed its own law in three cases, and it still hasn't 20 years on from the from the ruling, uh, or 20 years on from the over 20 years on from the event, and about 15 years on from the ruling. So it is. <laughs> I think the European Court of Human Rights is a good thing, and we would be damaged far more by leaving it than the gains we would get by um, the, the, the gains we get would be are, are, are significantly greater than the benefits we would get by leaving it. Uh, the Rwanda flights last year were blocked last June and in a sort of peak uh, this this whole process has been put through the courts and nobody seems to have been really bothered by the big issues, uh, that there is a record of Rwanda shooting refugees. I know Rwanda has looked after many refugees from Burundi and uh, Congo, and, um, and, and and there was an attempt uh, for Rwanda to look after Israeli refugees. That didn't go down well. That didn't work. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's shot refugees. Um, and... Uh, and it's also got a, an appalling record of treating um, those people who are politically in the opposition, uh, imprisoning them or humiliating them, uh, picking people up, assassinating people, picking people up off aeroplanes and then putting them into prison as well. Uh, this is not a nice regime, and it may be a better regime than some, but I'm not sure that, uh, number one, it's a regime that can be trusted to do the right thing, or indeed that we can monitor. And uh, given the fact that it is so close to some sort of uh, war, either a civil war or a war with its immediate neighbours, what would happen to refugees that we put there uh, if there were a war? Would that be our legal responsibility or not? I, I, I understand very well the entertaining legal nuance of sending somebody to Rwanda and then waiting for the courts to say, well, they shouldn't have been sent to Rwanda. They must be returned. Returned where? They can't be returned to Britain because they never officially got to Britain. That, that is the legal trick which Suella Brabham was proposing. So, uh, and it's a clever trick. It's despicable, but it is clever. It's the sort of trick that, um, that, that, you, that you would get from some pantomime villain. Ha, 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 ha! Yes, but you cannot be returned here because you never came here. And uh, Jenrick has used the same language as Theresa, um, uh, as, as uh, Liz Truss. Uh, I've been clear that we have to do whatever it takes. <laughs> I have been clear. Let me be very clear. Whenever somebody says that in, in politics now, I think you expect to see the hands moving up and down. And as we know, Liz Truss uh, fails in the hand job department. And I suppose 
um, Mr. Jenrick uh, is, is, is going in the same direction. If you can't get the hands working properly, basically you ought to stop 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 doing political um pronouncements there's there, there's a wonderful song in the in in the musical kismet and in the uh, and of course in the film of kismet and it's about the gesture uh you can tell a story but if you don't have the gesture right the story doesn't work so please don't cut off my hands <laughs> 